how fast the snakes grow, and just how long does it take to get one this big? Coming up. Bangs in your face. Subscribe now. Hey, before we get started, I want to say a big thank you to my major supporters. Dan McCarty, thank you, bro. James Chase, thank you so much, James. Len Brewer, Len, thank you for all the goodies so much. We love you, bro. Thank you so much. It's stuff we use constantly. We always need them kind of goodies around here. Hey, and Paul Gretz, thank you so much, mate. Hey, we've got a new t-shirt out, um, the Arutu, and it is smoking. Dina, you can put a picture in there, right, babe? Yeah. But yeah, it's it's really cool. But uh, So check it out. Go to venomcentral.org and check out our merch page. Hey, y'all, we're going to jump right in. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you snakes in different stages of their lives. And I might do it with a couple different species. But we're going to start out with the Zobcon, the Crowless Zobcon, the Yucatan rattlesnake. Now, this is a brand new baby Yucatan rattlesnake. He's only a few weeks old. And he's a cute little booger, ain't he? <laughs> Now that is a brand new baby, okay? He's had his first shed, and you can see he's only got one little teeny button on him there. And he's had a couple meals already. He's he's thriving. He's gonna be a pretty snake. Actually, that's a little female. And everybody always asks me, how can you tell the males and females? And rattlesnakes, you should be able to just look at them and tell. <laughs> Let me tell you, because the female's got a short little nubby tail, and male's got a really long, stretched out, elongated tail. But that's a whole nother video, y'all. But anyways, now this is a brand new little Yucatan rattlesnake. And now to judge the growth rate in a snake, let me tell you, it's, it's snakes actually can grow rapidly, okay? They can grow at a very fast rate, depending on the species. Some grow a little faster than others. Now snakes experience a phenomenon called indeterminate growth. And now what that means is they never stop growing, okay? And it doesn't matter how much of an intake, it doesn't matter how much they're eating, or the, I mean, it, it's it's all about age and, and size because size comes with age with a snake. The older a snake gets, it gets bigger and bigger. They never stop growing. Their growth hormones never quit. Now what will happen is they will slow down once they reach sexual maturity their growth rate will slow down but they still continue to grow but we're gonna show you this little this little cutie right here and we're gonna move on and i'm gonna pull out the same species but just one year older okay and next Dan McCarty, this is your war brother. This is little Evelyn. This is a little female Yucatan rattlesnake that was born right here one year ago. Now this little gal here, she's doing great. And we just got her eating frozen thawed. <laughs> she, she's a killer. She's, she's been liking them live all this time, but she just switched over to frozen thawed finally. But um, let me tell you, Dina, I'm gonna set her down in here real gently. All right, so you can kind of pan down a little bit on her. And she is gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. We held her back because she's really light. She's really pretty. But now with indeterminate growth. Now, it's hard to believe that that snake is only a year old, right? But she is one year old. And look at the size of her already. This is a species that grows quickly. But people often underestimate a snake's sexual maturity according to its size. And that's... that's pretty big misconception. People see a big snake and they think that, well, it's that big, it must be mature. And they try to breed them too early. And especially with rattlesnakes, and they need to be at least, the Yucatans, I like them to be at least six, seven years old. And that's reaching sexual maturity in a rattlesnake. Other rattlesnakes may breed at a younger age, but to do them right, you want them to be mature. And this little girl here, in one more year, 
she's going to turn into what I'm going to break out next. I'm going to break out a two-year-old and you're going to be amazed at the growth rate in two years because the most important part of a snake's life for its growth rate is the first two years of his life. That's when you really want to feed them well. You want your, your husbandry needs to be sharp. Temperature's right. They need good space in between meals because if you feed them too much, too soon, too fast, you get something we call pinhead syndrome where a snake's head doesn't grow into its body. Its body can get big and overweight. So you got to really be diligent on your feeding schedule. And I feed snakes. Look at her looking at me. She's like, I'm going to reach up there and pop you one. I feed snakes on what I call a broken schedule. I don't feed them like, okay, I'm going to feed them every seven days. That's the wrong thing to do. Snakes don't eat like that in the wild. I feed them on a broken schedule. I'll feed them heavy for a couple of months. Then I'll give them a month off. I'll give them different size meals at different times. But they're constantly getting the nutrients they need to grow big. Because the first two years of a snake's life is going to depict just how his growth rate is going to act. Because if they have a slow growth rate the first two years, they're not going to get as big as you think they can. If you feed them correctly the first two years and that growth hormone is kicked in and working right, they'll get massive. But I'm going to break out a two-year-old now. Okay, I showed you all a little baby, a brand new baby, a one-year-old. Now I'm going to show you a two-year-old. And you're going to be amazed at how big this snake is just in two years. And then I'm going to show you a 12-year-old, a mature animal. But this one, and he's a little grumpy too. <laughs> this is a, let me put this up, fall somewhere. This is a two-year-old animal, and this is why... This is why I stress it's important. The first two years of an animal's life, your husbandry needs to be sharp, you know? Because you want that snake to reach its maximum potential for growth, you know? And you don't want to overfeed them, but you still want to... Okay, buddy. You still want to give them a good amount of food, but at the right time. And your temps need to be right. They need to cycle everything properly. Now, that is a two-year-old. Crowless Zobcon, Yucatan Rattlesnake. And he's a smoker. He's a beautiful snake. And this guy will change in color a little bit. He's gonna probably get a little bit lighter and then them long neck stripes and them and them diamonds and stuff are gonna turn like a rich burnt orange color. But that is a two-year-old, and that is a healthy two-year-old. I'm gonna set him down here. Because this snake will bite you in a heartbeat. He ain't playing, he's a mean little hooker. But all right, buddy, there you go. I mean, that's two years old, and this snake's, he's probably almost four foot already. He's probably a four footer already. If not, he's damn close. And now most inexperienced keepers will raise a snake like this for a couple years, and they'll think, well, look how big it is. It's ready to breed. It's not. It's nowhere near sexual maturity. This snake is just starting to grow. It's just starting to get big. But this guy here is going to turn into what I'm going to break out next in about the next four to five years. But two-year-old Yucatan rattlesnake. You know, when I was talking about snakes being sexually dimorphic, I mean, that can, that can be like males can be a lot smaller than females. Or females can be a lot smaller than males. Also, sexual dimorphism can be color. Males can be a certain color, females can be a different color, you know, but like with your Yucatan rattlesnakes, the males often get large. They get a lot larger than the females. Like the male that I'm getting ready to break out, you'll see he's a monster, you know, and he's a mature animal. He's 12 years old. And we've got other males that are eight, nine years old, and they're not quite as big as him. But I mean, just a good example, like, our Bothrops lay, of course. I'm going to show you. Uh, here, we'll take it down here and show it to you. Here, give me the camera, babe. Like that is a big female, mature female. She's six foot. And that right there is the male. And look at the size difference. I mean, it's crazy, right? He looks like a baby in there with her. <laughs> and this is a proven breeding pair. And he is, he's probably a little bit older than her. I think, 
I think he may be 10, 12 years old. And she's probably around the 9, 10 year old mark. But that's sexually dimorphic. And you see that in a lot of your mouth rough species and a lot of your rattlesnake species. And eventually, them little babies will turn into this with age and proper husbandry. Now that is a big Yucatan rattlesnake. I mean, he's a big heavy boy too. He, he's got good body weight on him. He's very healthy. And look at the rattle on him too. <laughs> he's got a big string on him, don't he? He has got a massive rattle. And actually he lost a little bit of his rattle here just recently. About three or four inches fell off of it. But that's what them little squirts to turn into. And that's a sexually mature adult rattlesnake. And let me tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide this guy right back into his big tub right now. <laughs> Look at him. Put him right in there. So I got him dangling out there too much. With growth in snakes, of course, different species grow at different rates. Your pythons and boas can grow incredibly fast. I mean, like a Burmese python, within two years, it can be a 10 footer. I mean, if it's fed right and kept right, they can grow very large, very quick, but they're also a very prolific snake. I mean, they can breed at a younger age versus a rattlesnake needs to be a little more mature. But I've seen retics breed at two years old. That's crazy. I mean, two years old. A rattlesnake, that wouldn't happen. I mean, I've never seen any rattlesnake breed at that age. I like to hold out till they're at least five, six, even seven years old. And now, a good example of a snake that grows very quickly and growth rate is King Diesel here. I mean, look at this guy. He's barely two years old. And he is, he's probably eight foot already. We haven't measured him in quite a while. But look at the size of this guy. Look at him, he's gonna come off the hook on me. <laughs> no, you don't, buddy. But King Diesel, in all his glory. <laughs> Let's set him down there and turn him around. That's what I do with him. <laughs> we pull the old switch on him. But King Diesel, look at how long that guy is. And barely at two years old. It's incredible. He's so docile, he barely even hoods when he's out. <laughs> When I clean him, I just take him out and set him on top of his can. He just curls up and watches me. Put everything around, baby. See if he'll hood up for you. <laughs> There's my buddy, huh? <laughs> He's like, what is that over there, huh, buddy? <laughs> there he goes. He's like, you ain't tricking me. I ain't scared of nobody, huh? But. Look at that. I mean, that's an eight foot snake in less than two years. And it's because his husbandry is right and he's being fed correctly. And he's gonna reach his maximum potential. In the next two years, this guy is gonna be a 12 footer and like a fire hose. Hey guys, I hope you liked this. Just a quick one today. We've been really busy, we ain't had time to film. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, hit that be local thing and subscribe now and come on back to Venom Central for some truly educational content about venomous snakes. Hey, this is Willie. We're checking out. Later.